very good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome on For Honor. My name is Okan Dersis and today with you I will present my Warden Tutorial Guide. Which is uh, totally my idea and nobody else has done it before. Alright? And there is no video, no video at all on YouTube about this. Okay? Thank you. The tutorial will be divided in two parts. Part 1 will be an in-depth looking at the Warden moveset and part 2 there will be some suggestions on how to use the Warden, how to play the character and how to approach the fight. The Warden is a very balanced character, he is capable of adapt to many different situations and playstyles. This makes it the perfect choice for a new player. However, his adaptability and his wide range of moves makes him a hero that requires skill and time to master. He is a good punisher when playing against aggressive players, and his various moveset makes it unpredictable if correctly played. For this reason, it is easy to win with it without using the same combo twice. The Warden's printing attack is awesome, it has good tracking and range and it deals a fair amount of damage. This makes it very good for first approach and can also use to re-engage the enemy in middle fight. It comes out pretty fast and this plus its good tracking makes it a difficult attack to dodge. However, keep in mind that always comes from the same side and can be easily predicted and blocked from experienced players. The shoulder bash is the core move of the Warden. It's initiated after a dodge or a light attack by pressing square. It can be charged, although it's pretty situational. I would suggest you to charge it only if you have to push someone down from an edge or against a wall. It can call people off guards since most of the times they won't expect it to come, especially on short range. If not charged, comes out pretty fast and it's pretty difficult to dodge if they're not prepared. After successfully landed, you always have the opportunity to land a side light attack combo, which will give you another chance to chain another shoulder bash. The shoulder bash can be also fainted as a normal heavy attack by pressing circle right at the start of the animation, or can be changed into a guard break by repeatedly pressing square during the animation. This is incredibly useful for your second guard break combo, since you already landed one and the enemy will try to dodge the second one. 99% of the times. And a guard break on someone who's dodging is always guaranteed. Your top light attack is one of your fastest attack. It deals a good amount of damage to be a light attack and it can be connected with the second without landing the first. This makes it good to bait approach your opponent, throwing out the first, waiting a short beat and then throwing the second which is a bit faster than the first one and your opponent won't expect it coming. It also triggers your crashing counter-strike, which is a devastating, unblockable and undodgeable counter-attack that deals tons of damage. You need to time it properly in order to initiate it by pressing your light attack button while being attacked from above, pretty much like a parry, although the timing is slightly more strict than a parry if you manage to land it, however, it will put you in strong advantage on your opponent. And 99% of the times, your enemy will panic and will try to dodge or backstep. Do not let this chance to go away and punish them. After a crushing counter, always try to follow up with a shoulder bash, cancel it into a guard break. Your side light attack are good, but not that much good. The wind up is a bit longer than other light attacks and it makes them easy to block or parry while in neutral stance. But if used well, they can give you a great advantage. First of all, if the first lands, the second hit is always guaranteed and it's very fast. 
This is great to remove the first 8 immunity of the Shugoki and punish them. Also, either you eat or not eat your opponent, you can always chain a shoulder bash after your side light, making it a good bait for initiate a shoulder bash combo. This means that with good timing you can not only interrupt an enemy attack and deal consistent damage, but you can also take over starting an entire new combo that can change the sort of the fight. So keep that in mind. The heavy top attack is the Warden's most powerful attack. It deals ton of damage, however this comes at a cost. In fact, the wind up for this attack is very long and is the easiest attack to parry or block. This makes it also not guaranteed after a guard break and is very predictable in general. You should be very careful when using it in neutral or even better, try not to use it at all. The top heavy attack must be used when throwing people against wall, since they will be stunned from the collision and this will guarantee your attack to land, no matter what, with nothing for the enemy to do if not watching the death come from above. Your side heavy attacks deal less damage than the top one, but it's still a good damage. Since they are heavy attacks, they are slow and pretty easy to parry, but in return, they are fair tracking and they are good in general when comes the time to punish somebody that dodges a lot. You can also change the second without landing the first, so again can be used as a bait. Be careful though, always keep in mind that they are slow. The zone attack of the Warden is the greatest move of this character, in my opinion. It comes out faster than any other attack and has a good range and a good tracking and is your best ally in neutral stance to take by surprise your enemy. However, not everything is rainbows, in fact it comes with a great cost, half of your full stamina bar. And if blocked, you will be open to a guard break that you cannot counter. Keep also in mind that always come from the same direction. And for this season, you shouldn't abuse it, otherwise the enemy will start expecting it to come, making it useless. It deals moderate damage, but it's a great move for closing, since it's very fast and will help you to finish off your enemy both effectively and with style. The Warden guard break is pretty fast compared with other Eidos guard breaks, throwing people around with the Warden covers much more ground than other characters can do. The guard break is always guaranteed after a successful parry, so try to close the distance as quickly as you can and guard break them like no tomorrow. A good tip is to run after your enemy like if you want to sprint attack them, they will prepare for it. And when you're very close, guard break them, they won't expecting it. The Warden Dodge is nothing exceptional. However, it's pretty fast and covers a fair amount of distance that, in certain situations, can save your ass from being kicked. So keep that in mind. Alright, now that we know the moves, let's have a look on how to approach the fight when you're playing as the Warden. Since he has EV armor, it's not that fast. This is the reason why I usually prefer to play defensive, try to throw out some zone attacks and some fast eye attacks to make them impatient and in the meantime dealing some damage. Once they start breaking the neutral state, we can commence. When playing as the Warden, you should focus primarily on your crushing counter, high repost. Since many characters like Dekensei, Orochi, Riders and other Wardens, fastest attack are the top light. As well the Valkyrie, Warlord and Peacekeeper jumping attacks, they come from above and they abuse them for shorten the distance between you and them. Focusing on that will give you strong advantage. In addition to that, once your enemy will figure it out that you are stronger than them in the high stance, they will try to approach you from the sides, which means that they will deal less damage and they will have a bad time initiating combos since their stronger combos starts from the bow. This is the moment in which you need to throw out your parries. After a parry, always try to guard break them. If you don't miss it, it's unblockable and will guarantee a side heavy attack to put you in advantage. After the enemies will figure out that they cannot approach you from any side, they will start to be more careful. They will try to feint moves to force to make you mistakes. Or they will try to bait you by throwing out attacks that will never reach you, looking for an opening. 
This is your time for win. Should the bash them, take them by surprise. Make sure you have full stamina and wait until they initiate an attack or a feint and charge. After every shoulder barge, you have an opportunity to connect with a 2 eat light combo and then shoot the bash them again. Keep the pressure on, they will most likely panic and try to roll away, which could you give you the opportunity for more shoot the bash cancelled into guard break or if they manage to successfully roll, do not let them breathe and sprint to them. They will probably expect a sprinting attack, you can either go for it or you could try a guard break since they will probably not expecting this, in any case, once they have low health, zone attack will be your best closing, since it's fast and they do not expect it to come, and deals just that amount of damage that will give you the victory. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial guys, please leave a like down below if you enjoyed. It took me almost a week to make this thing, so I would really appreciate if you do. Also subscribe to the channel for more For Honor videos because they are coming. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Feel the rainbow.